Hey everybody, this is Hive Radical. I just felt to come on and respond to the resident's uh, video, The Meaning of Life. Um, I'm keeping this up here for a while, hoping it makes it into the thumbnail. And yes, I know, it's lame. Uh, so, she just in classic uh, resident style goes around asking questions. Um, the whole just that I've gotten of those sessions is she's an attractive young woman asking people on the street questions and that's kind of it. She gets to the end though and makes something interesting and you know a lot of people had um, not, not necessarily wrong answers in, in many of the cases. Um, people talking about enjoying life that certainly uh, I believe that's an important part of the purpose of life. Um, let's see if I've got this on the right one. Try to get the volume up here. So what did we learn today? Not much, and I guess that's the point. We're never going to know what the meaning of life is while we're here, probably. So you might as well just sit back and enjoy. Um, now again, there's nothing wrong with enjoying life. In fact, I think enjoying life is a, a key component of the purpose of life. But um, it's this persistent dogma, and it, and it is a dogma, that um, and they always throw in the probability, like she says. You know, we're never going to know. Well, probably. Um, you know, if you look at the probability of, for, for life, I mean, there's all sorts of people that will dispute things when you get into probability, but... Um, for, for some of the key things to be set up for, you know, the initial stages of evolution, you know, uh, probability is kind of a moot point. I mean, if something can happen, uh, according to, to some, even uh, uh, theories of physics, it, it will at some point. But uh, I think, especially when you're dealing with something and so ontological, so tied to existing. I mean, there's really nothing beyond existing. Or if there is, we wouldn't know about it, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, but questions about existence are, are rather key. And I think it's kind of, I think it is a really dangerous thing for us to go in and just, well, you know, uh, you'll never know, or probably never know, and so just do whatever he feels right, you know, do it, just enjoy life. Um, it's really kind of a, it's, it's shallow, it, well, for example, the shooter, and again, I think the resident, you know, does, does some entertaining stuff and, and sometimes some thought-provoking stuff. I, I don't frequent her side probably as much as, as many do. Um, that's part of the reason why this video is getting posted so late. Because um, I didn't, you know, it's been what? I'm trying to see when she posted this November 9th. So, okay, it's longer than that. It's, you know, been over a month. But, uh, <laughs> it's. Well, well, look at the, the shooting that happened recently. And I'm. I hope nobody takes this out of context. I just, this is to demonstrate why I feel this view of, of, you know, just whatever makes you feel good or whatever, you know, gives you joy in life. Um, the statement that commonly comes up and, and the reason why he did it, uh, why he went out the way he did, because he wanted to go out in style. I, you look at the vanity of that statement, but but it's if you, if you you go to somebody and say you know we'll just enjoy life or well, whatever they might get you know as, as some people will put it their jollies from um, to have this relativistic view is I mean do, doesn't anybody see a problem with that I. <laughs> I'll just put this up hoping it gets on the thumbnail, the ever important thumbnail, so we get people's attention. But uh, 
it's just really kind of. Uh, I guess I'll keep that up there since it's around the midway mark. But and again, uh, this kind of blows my mind. You know, this, and it, it's it's summed up, and you know, people might go off on this too for me quoting scriptures, but it's the whole eat, drink, and be merry for tomorrow we die. You know, well. Why bother looking? We probably won't find it. We probably won't. Probably won't work. Um, if you look at like relationships today, uh, the key indicator, the, the most prominent indicator, and this is this isn't psychological studies. It's you know professionals, uh, academics that study this. When you've got a, a relationship, the one single biggest indicator as to whether or not the relationship will work or will not work is whether or not the, the two people involved in it are determined to make it work. That's the single biggest. It's not money. It's not incompatibility, you know, in intimate relations. It's, it's, it's not, not it's, it's, it's your commitment, it's your determination and this whole this whole view that, oh, we probably won't find it. Um, yeah, you probably won't. It's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. Uh, if, unless your, your view of it is, is, is shallow, and I, and I believe that much of our culture, uh, that, that shallowness leads to things. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to in any way say, you know, the president is anywhere near, you know, anything as egregious and horrible as the shootings. But I'm just saying it's the same thing. It's the same vanity. It's the same uselessness. It's the whole look at the world of, well, whatever gives you your kicks, you know. That's what the kids saw, you know, going out in style. What does that mean? What does it mean to enjoy life? If that was his view of enjoying life, are, are we just going to be stuck on this relativistic um, kick and wait till society just kind of does whatever? Um... It's just it's it's sad to see around me. Well, and that's the thing too. It's because if 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 there is an answer, if there is an answer to the purpose of life, and somebody has it, and they say they have it, they're going to be labeled as arrogant. It doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happens. They'll be labeled as arrogant. If if they don't say they have it, and you know it comes out later that you had it and you didn't share it. And, it's like, what's wrong with you? Why didn't you share it? Um, it's an interesting catch-22 because um, those who, especially, you know, the whole concept of not wanting to be dogmatic, not wanting to be stuck in any closed-minded system or, or methodology, not wanting to get stuck, you know, always wanting to be free, and expanding your mind and having an open mind. Um, it's interesting because everybody's point where they are strong and, and is, is precisely where their mind closes. Um, such as, you know, those who say, well, we probably will never find it. Well, if we probably will never find it, then we probably won't. Um, I, I just did. I guess most of all, what I would think w would bring a lot more joy into the world, and that's my answer, by the way. I believe that it is um, that we do exist to have joy, but I think joy is different from enjoying life merely. I think joy transcends that, and joy, joy, just as you know, the the principles that that bind the molecules in, in my body, um, there are certain laws that are tied to joy. It, it only makes sense. It's not some pick and choose, you know. I can't just say, oh, today I want, you know, car battery acid to be good for me. It doesn't work that way. Um, but I, again, it's just, because the one thing I think about joy is that the more joy others have, the more joy 
individuals can have, the more the more collective joy there is. The, I mean, what what is joy if, if if you're the only one that can have it? There's no one to share it with. And so, anyway, those are my thoughts. My thoughts on life. That's what I know. <laughs>